Bay and happy Friday. Good morning, boys and girls. Okay, <clears throat> so we have a project today on the Megalodon. Those of you who are interested in dinosaurs probably have heard of this, but the Megalodon is the largest predator or animal that has ever lived, or at least that's what they think. So there's a, the, a school bus and there's the Megalodon. It's larger than a school bus. Uh, <clears throat> so it could have been uh, up to 60 feet long. Um, and uh, if you look here, um, the detail on this is just outstanding. Uh, this is by um, Urov in our fifth grade. But just look at the illustrations and the detail. So getting back to where the Megalodon lived, uh, it was a very adaptable uh, animal. So it could live in a variety of climates. So pretty much all over the world in deep seas. Uh, fun fact, a Megalodon could uh, crush a car. Uh, it's three times longer. Three times, you would have to take three to make one of the great white shark. Um, let's see. And it lived about 20 million years ago. Yeah, it's a, it's a prehistoric um, predator uh, that is extinct now. They no longer are living. So super great job on that. Next up, we have some Getting Smart Through Art by Callie. Love that, Callie. That is beautiful. And I love the detail in each of these. So that's by Khaleesi. And then we have some fact families and multiplication, some general uh, math. This is by Marcia in our second grade. A lot of detail there um, and drew all the groups super important how many groups how many in the group all right and finally for today we have a project on William Shakespeare and so this one was done by Janine also in our second grade uh, and so William Shakespeare is somebody you'll learn about a lot more maybe in high school so this is um, a person who uh, became an author and built a theater uh, and uh, wrote plays. Uh, very, very famous person from, very, uh, from a long time ago. He was born in 1564. That's like 500, well, about 460 years ago. Yeah, so born to 59 to be exact. All right, now let's get to our oops, Wordle. So, so many people got this. Uh, I mean, all of the McCready's, all of the Wortlings, all of the Harmon Kims, all of the Wilsons. And then some others. And one of the things I loved about these that I picked out, I can see that these students, Chris, Jacob, uh, I don't know whose this is, but there's no name on it. Um, Rahab and... I'm not sure but what they did I can see they used the same post-it every day and they started with the the lines for the word and then each day with the clue they filled in until they got the word and they did the same thing with the numbers at the bottom they kept crossing off based upon the clues so they got the mystery number so if you said mighty you're right so mighty so that's the M. Now the M 
is two, the N is one. So I said it's similar. And they come right uh, there next to each other in the, in the alphabet. But mighty was our mystery, our wordle, because that's about McVeigh. We are the mighty kind, mighty minds. Uh, and we're going to keep learning what that means throughout the entire year. What does it mean to be a mighty, kind, mighty mind? And then with the number, the number was, it had to be four. Because the vowel, the other vowel in this word is the most common. So this had to be four. So what does our mystery number have to do with our wordle. Well, there are four letters in kind and four letters in mind. And that's what each of you has is a mighty mind. Four simple letters that mean a whole lot. Kind. Four letters that mean a whole lot. And you can be mighty with both, with your kindness and with your mind. That's what McVeigh is all about. If you keep working hard, trying your very best, and never giving up, and never saying, I can't, or this is hard. If it was easy, we wouldn't need to learn it. When we try something new, it is a little bit tough. That's okay. That's how you grow your mighty mind. That's what you do. You take those four letters in mind and you grow them. So it becomes stronger and stronger and stronger. And now it's time for our Mighty Kind Mark of Day. Let's get a drum roll. Da, da, da. So the Mighty Kind Mom of the Day is a shout out to all of the parents who came and helped made our uh, photo day so wonderful. So if you know one of those parents, one of the PTA members or the people that volunteered, please make sure that it happens to have been your mother or your father or somebody, make sure you thank them because that was a lot of work and they did that on their time for you. And of course, boys and girls, every day is a great day to get smart and be kind to both each other and the earth. Let's have a wonderful day.